corner, entering the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at a ready 146 and one half pounds. His record stands at 42 wins, three losses, and two draws, with 33 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is tonight's challenger, the former WBO welterweight champion of the world, currently ranked the WBA number one welterweight contender from Durango, Durango, Mexico, introducing Jose Luis Maestrito Lopez. And his opponent across the ring on my right is the defending world champion, fighting out of the red corner, wearing dark blue trunks with white trim. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds even. His record includes 22 wins, three losses, with 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the first defense of his title, fresh off of a spectacular knockout victory from Pittsburgh, California, yeah. introducing the WBA welterweight champion of the world, known as the Mighty Quinn. Here is the hard-hitting James Payne. Once again, a referee in charge, Tony Pettis, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of boxing are scheduled. One on one, one on one only. Okay. okay, fellows, we went through the instructions in the dressing room. I right, question again. We were going for the unified rules. That means no standing eight, no three of that rule, and no saving by the ball, all right? Now, no low blows, this is the borderline right here, okay? And any questions? Any questions? Check hands. Good luck to both of you. Check out the Final instructions from Tony Perez. James Page, his last six wins by KO. 15 of his 18 KOs okay. in three okay. rounds or less. Six in the first. Began 98 with a TKO in just 35 seconds over an opponent named Bill Bradley, who did have 17 losses entering the fight. Final prayers from Jose Luis Lopez. Only two first round knockouts, however, 24 of his 33 KOs in four rounds or less off a third round TKO over an overmatched Ed Goins, including three knockdowns. Here we go, round one, scheduled for 12 for the WBA welterweight championship. Luke Duva trains Lopez in the black trunks with the white trim, told us. The plan is for Lopez to attack from the opening bell. They want Page coming in. That Lopez is sensational inside. He can exchange with anybody, has a great chin, knows how to avoid punches, as he did against Compass. Lou says that he has been working on him more than Bob and Weave to get down, to keep from standing up. But I don't think you can change an old fighter like this. This guy, once he gets hit, goes by, he's going to fight him just as he always has. He's a tough, tough Mexican fighter. They really want to see what happens the first time Page hits Lopez and Lopez hits back. He just threw a sharp uh, hook, which missed in Lopez, but that's the kind of business he wants to get into, is short, hard hooks. Lopez said that the better chin and better punch will be the two biggest factors in this fight, and he doesn't believe that Page can take his power. Well, Page, like Lopez, does have power. He told us he's taking a more conservative approach, said he was tense in his last fight. Against Lopez, he says, I don't want to go out winging. I want to be relaxed, sharp, use the quick, snappy jab, then combinations after, use my speed as well as power. Well, this will be a little bit of cat and mouse here, both being so dangerous, especially early when their guns are full. They're going to look at each other very carefully. Big chess match early. Paige very cocky with us yesterday. He said, if it goes more than six rounds, I'll be surprised. Willie Rush, the trainer of Page, told us he didn't feel Lopez's power was on a par with Page's. He said, if Lopez comes in, that's good. We don't have to chase him. I look for James to knock him out early, said his trainer, Willie Rush. Right now, James is doing what he's got to, using that long, rangy jab, stuffing it, keeping Lopez at bay. That's where the fight is for him. And when he gets inside, to whip that hook. Oh, nice little left hand. Followed by a right hand by Lopez. Right on the button. Uh, I don't know if it's a habit. Page keeps blinking his eyes. I'll tell you what, Page is doing something real cute. 
He's throwing a sneak lead right hand and stuffing a jab right behind. It's been very effective so far. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep an eye on that uh, eye yeah, situation. He keeps blinking it. I'm not, I don't know if that's just nervousness right now. That left hook blocked by the well-schooled thinking fighter, nine-year veteran Jose Luis Lopez precisely sets up his attack. We do the call him the typical Mexican fighter who never quits. Two good overhand rights by Lopez. Page did not react badly at all. Page, a straight stand-up fighter with a rock-solid body. Watch out for that lethal left hook. There it was. High on the head. Did not hurt it. Back. Round one of the books. Come on, man. You got to move out my way, man. We'll follow James Page to the corner. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, sit down, man. Put your legs on, relax. You doing? I got the mouthpiece. You got the mouthpiece? Take deep breath. You're looking good, James, but don't wait on it, though. Don't wait on it. You're looking good. And, 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 and when, 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 when you throw that jab right hand, when you back up, he, all you got to do is step right back in with the, the overhand right. Turn that right hand into a hook. You know what I'm Turn that right hand into a hook. Yeah. Let him bob and weave. Let him bob and weave and get close with this guy. Okay? Okay? Okay. They're saying to bob and weave and come in under the guy's punches, under Page's punches. Page's corner seems very satisfied, and uh, both places, in both places, they seem to have been satisfied with the first round. They both seem to think they did their, what they wanted out of the first round. I gave the edge slightly to Page. He was, he was, as Bobby said, putting that left jab in there very, very good. Stuffing it and then following with the right hand. Yeah, Page is certainly establishing the jab in round one. Let's see what uh, transpires from this point on. Page says his offense is his best defense. He does have a tendency to drop his left hand. This could be a good spot to see just what kind of chin this kid has from Pittsburgh, California, just out, outside Oakland. See, what, what you notice, Lopez sometimes just puts his hands up and draws Page into him, lets Page come in, because he's got to close the gap. Whether Page comes in and closes the door, or he makes the move, he's not doing as much bobbing and weaving a la Mike Tyson to get inside. He's just kind of like walking to Page, believing that his chin and his defense are going to work. After that wild swing and a mess off the left hook by Page again, the heavy blinking. And then th these wide shots that he's throwing, the page is throwing, he's leaving wide open. And if uh, Lopez was faster on his reflex, he can nail him really hard. But once, once he's uh, winging punches miss, then he's wide open. Good left by James Page that connected to the face of Lopez. Right now, it is my sincere belief that Page is clearly the better of the puncher. There's a, a right hook by, by James Page and a straight left. By Lopez, a counter left. There's that left hook. Well, that was, that, that was strong. <laughs> that was a bomber. And that backed Lopez up, and Lopez beginning to feel the heat now of James Page. Oh, a straight left hand right on the button by Page. That's that lead right here when I left behind. He does that one, two, and reverse. It's very sneaky and very effective. And that shows he does not respect the power of Jose Luis Lopez when you throw that lead. You got to be ready to eat something in return. Remember, this guy's a natural left-hander. He can go anywhere, anywhere. Yeah, converted to southpaw, and he's got that great power on the left. And the blinking continues, but it's not hurting his punching. Well, he must be a nervous twitch as he does. He's certainly doing very well this round. Ooh, straight left by Lopez. Page walked right into it. It didn't seem to bother. No, he bent with the kind of button a little off balance. Nice stuff. Moving forward, combination missing left, coming forward, a nice countering left by Page. Uh, but Page got nailed a very good left hand by Lopez, very good left hand. And uh, he did the reverse to stop blinking. I get, the, I get the feeling Lopez has not opened up yet. I get the feeling he hasn't turned this thing in the third gear and going yet. You know, for big punchers, if you start missing big punches, as Page has got a nice left uppercut, if you start missing punches, they get tired more quickly, it takes more energy to throw them. Maybe Lopez is winning. And Lopez coming on towards the end of round two. Now, I'm going to get this. Go in. 
good. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, day. Oh, day. Nothing. You got this, huh? Yeah. Oh, day. You got to smack the jab to the right hand. Right left. Okay. Bang. 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 Right away. Boom. Boom. Cachetealo con la izquierda. Three. 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 As Paige starts to work and, and starts to get his hook going. Now, what he wants to do is hit him hard with the left hook. Keep your eye on his left hand. See the hook there? Bang! I mean, it's uh, winging. He's throwing it with all he's got, and he's missing most of them, but when he hits, it's a shot. Okay. Well, Lopez is uh, MO over the years. He's smart, patient, tries to wear down his opponent, economical with his punches. And that is starting to take its course. That again, the, the heavy blinking by James Page as he comes out for round three. Page is coming out a little wild, but heavy-handed, big bomb. A little swelling under the right eye of uh, Lopez. A little swelling. A little redness. Oh, a low blow there, but Tony Perez did see it. Sound punch. Page is starting to get a little over aggressive sometimes. He seems to feel he can do what he wants. Or that he's in a hurry to get out of here. And every once in a while he opens himself up to a countering shot, but Lopez is not taking advantage. Again, combinations of the head by a very confident James Page. <laughs> to the belly with a left uppercut by Page. His left hand dangerously low. Page seems to be inviting trouble but goes back to his guard once he gets close see right here lopez is allowing page to rest and page wants to rest he can't do that he's got to force the issue and make page get tired from his big bomb press him because he lets him rest and unload oh my god he's gonna be in serious trouble every once in a while i notice page opens himself up for a right hand let's see if lopez can uh, take advantage that punch the left hook blocked but that's got to wear out the arms. Luduga sitting next to him is a little exasperated. Says, well, we're trying to get him to get started. He won't get started. So uh, he's given away the first two rounds. He's fought it, fought it well enough, but he's certainly not carrying the round. So he's got to get started. This man dropped Ike Forte twice. Got a draw. Forte retaining the title. See, when Page misses like that big swinging hook, Lopez is not making him pay. You have to make him pay every time he misses and make him earn what he gets. Oh, oh that's right. right. By Jose Luis Lopez, it's up Page against the rope. Let's see how Page handles this situation. He heard Page with that right hand. You can and see. an uppercut by Lopez. A right uppercut to the chin. Now a left. Down he goes. the reign of 
Catches by Jose Luis Lopez. Lopez goes right back to work. Now going to the party. Page just able to survive the last round of the wobbling to his corner. He has to box smart now. Get his feet on him. Get his head clear. Stuck that jab. That's it. Stuck the jab. That's what he has to do. Let's check the He doesn't look good, Bobby. He doesn't look good. He doesn't look sharp. He's in, he's in a haze. He's in a haze. There's a nice punch there. Lead right hand with that left again. He didn't wobble Lopez, but he got his attention. He might. He might be recovering, but I doubt it. What he's got in front of him is a guy that knows how to finish. The folks at home had a 2-1 page, but Jose Luis Lopez. Huge here now. Because of the extra point and a knockdown. That's exactly right. That 10 8 round evens things up. The lower lip of James Page is split. Lopez should be a little bit more aggressive. He's just not pressing up the action. It's like he knows it's coming and he's not in a hurry. Lopez just shoves him off. to pay every time he comes in because Page is going to try and keep him up with bombs. Oh, that was very low. That was a low blow. And Lopez, Lopez buckles, but Tony Perez doesn't do anything. He didn't see it. He was in the back of the That's the second time that's happened. This one, of course, was the worst of the two. Oh, that's too bad because Lopez should have had time to recover. But he marches on uh, within a minute. What's amazing is the recovery of Page. While he doesn't look sharp and he doesn't look fast, still he's fighting enough. And the uh, main thing is he isn't getting hammered. He's winning around right now because Lopez isn't doing enough. And there's that left hook by uh, James Page. Nice recovery by Page after being brutalized in the last round toward the end. Right hand over the top. Seemed to wobble Page a little bit. He did a few funny things on his feet. Boy, there's some kind of ebb and flow to this fight. Less than 20 seconds left in round four. Now Lopez coming back. Oh, a vicious straight right hand by Lopez to the chin. A combination to the face by Lopez. Lopez coming out strong. A straight right by Lopez. He's got Page back up against the ropes and he covers the line. And the bell. And he hit him after the bell. And that was his shot. And Page walks slowly back to the corner. Let me tell you, none of that is calculated to make him feel good. He goes back with hurt. That might be one of the most hard, most difficult rounds in boxing to score. James, you still will let him get your. You won't stick and jab and move. You just standing there, jab, and you standing there. Use your left hand on the move. Well, Bobby, as this punishment rained on him. I can tell you he took the round in, in my uh, on, on my card because he inflicted such damage on him and before that it had been a nothing round. But in the first two minutes Page clearly outboxed him, outbanged him, I hit him out the wheel. You right, Lopez did almost you, you nothing in the last 10 right 15 here. seconds he lost. Right. Well I don't think this is going to be one of the fights you have to worry about a decision by I agree with you. I'm going to call that one even round even though I hate to score an even round. Right. To me Come on, I go with Lopez on that one. Page's legs were wobbly again as he walked back to his corner at the end of round four. Let's see how things are as we go into round five. Uh, Duva trying to heat up the action in the, in the corner. Told him, you got the guy, why do you wait till the end of the round? Start off with his stuff. Start off. That's part of the problem. You start off, you got to walk through some big punches from Page and wading through some heavy leather. You know, I don't think he's got as much on his punch anymore, buddy. There's a combination by Page. Yeah, I think still got a little bit on there. The zip that they had in the first two rounds. Page coming back strong. Missed with a wild left. Punching shots by Page. He backs up Lopez, who squirms out of the corner. Lopez so wily, trying to avoid these punches, but he just can't. Lopez can work in the storm. He's got a great chin, but I'll tell you what, nobody's going to take those all day. Lopez has yeah. never been down. Lopez has never been down in his career. 47 fights. Page trying to do it. Page was down into the third. Well, Page is finally winding down. He did 
it would be good. Look at this bounce by James Page. No answers from Lopez. I'll tell you what, I still think Lopez, his mind is pretty clear. He has taken some punishment, though. You can only do that for so long before your body has to give out. What hard by the Mexican, Jose Luis Lopez, standing in against these hard shots by James Page. Back comes Lopez. He missed with that combination. Now he doesn't look. Now he's coming back. Unbelievable. As Page lets up, allows Lopez to bounce back. Maybe Page punched himself out. Here comes that, Lopez. That's one of the problems, one of the factors. What a chin on Jose Luis Lopez. If he's got anything left after all of that, just when we thought Page was running out of gas, he came on with a huge spurt, and now he's back to being slow again. After that huge expenditure of energy, back comes Lopez. Fearless. Jose Luis Lopez finishing the fifth round strong. And now Page is fatigued. But what punishment Lopez took. It's unbelievable that he has anything left. But look, he'll be throwing punches and hard punches. That's what we talk about experience, and that's what we talk about Mexican fighters. Just when you think they're through, they get something out of their insides, and they keep coming back. Conditioning it's so tough. The conditioning is going to be an automatic, an automatic factor in this one. There's just no way to absorb and give this much without having the fatigue factor set in. Less than 10 seconds remaining in round five of this war. What a tough fight this is. Back and forth. This round is classic. Back and forth. Back and forth. And here comes Lopez. Wow. What a round. He's ready to fall down. He's ready to fall down, Jose. Jose, he's ready to fall down. You got a punch. Tienes que tirarle con fuerza, yo. Ya está listo para irse para abajo. This is early in the round when all of a sudden, when he looked like he had nothing left, in comes Page and he's got dynamite in his fist and he's hammering away. Lopez trying to avoid most of those punches, but boy, he does get hammered several times. What a jaw! Same sequence for a close-up. You see Page is starting to miss a lot of those, so that's going to, again, factor in the fatigue, the fatigue factor. He's getting tired with those big bombs. He cannot miss those. Hey, this, this is like the football game I saw today. The University of Miami beats you know, UCLA in a fight, and now we come to a fight, it's the same thing. You punch, I punch, you punch, I punch. Wow, what a fight. Rock'em, sock'em robots here. Round six, Page came out impressively in the first minute and a half of round five. But did he lose any power from the knockdown back in late round three? Who knows if Page hadn't been knocked down, what power he would have had on those punches. The question is, why was Lopez waiting? Why, why did he take that shellacking? Because he never even punched back. And when he had the other guy in trouble, all he needed to do was step on the gas a little bit. And I'll tell you what, we wouldn't adventure guess right now that if Lopez actually punched as good as Page, that Lopez would not Page up. Page is a great puncher. Chin's not suspect per se, but the power that Lopez is reflecting doesn't seem to be the same, and it's still hurting Lopez. Lopez, only 25, he turned pro at age 15 back in 1989. Oh, what a whack! An overhand right, a right cross sort of by uh, James Page that nailed Lopez on the left jaw. Landed right on the jaw, and it didn't do anything to him. Lopez is right there, right where you want it. There's a right by a page that clipped Lopez again along the left ear. Lopez can't win the fight backing up. It's just not going to happen. He doesn't have the reach or the range he guns for. It just doesn't happen. Two very offensive-minded fighters. This fight just going back and forth. Tremendous action. That's a nice left jab there by James Page looking to set up the right. Page seems to have something at the beginning of every round, and then he starts to wind down. And that's when Lopez gets broke. Ooh, a combination of the head for a second. It looked like yeah. Page was going down, but I think Lopez's punches are hurting Page, whereas Page is not hurting Lopez. I mean, you, you get a combination, all of a sudden you get that funny look in Page's face. He straightens up. He, he gets hurt. He feels it. Look, look at that shot. Well, Page was on the canvas, so to speak. 
Love touched the canvas, 233 into round three. Lopez refused to go down for the first time in his career the next one. That right hand followed by the straight left jab has been working all night long. Somebody in Lopez's corner has to make an adjustment for him. Really looking nice. She must be slippery. Must be slippery there where the paint is. This is perhaps the first low in the fight with 30 seconds remaining in round six. Well, they deserve it. They deserve a break. I'll say that for And back comes Page. Tough shots to the body, but pretty much blocked by uh, Lopez. Look at this exchange. Oh, a straight right hand by Page. Page is having so much success finding Lopez's head that he's left the body completely alone, except for a couple of low blows. Not real work in the body. And there's Lopez with a left hook to the head. And that rocked Page. Too a little too late, Steve. Look at the way he walks back to his corner, herky-jerky. Come on. This come guy on, always nails him at the end of the round. Tell him what I'm saying. Hey, my piece, come on. You can't drop that left hand. Well, 1999 kicks off with Mike Tyson on pay-per-view Saturday, January 16th. Showtime event television presents the return of Mike Tyson, the former undisputed heavyweight champ of the world, and uh, the most controversial fighter in boxing will be entering the ring for the first time in 18 months to face former IBF heavyweight champion Francois Botha. The return of Mike Tyson on pay-per-view Saturday, January 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. For him to throw something back. That's how he catches you when you lay in there. You understand? You lay there. Come on, we can't we can't do that. But come on now, we gotta get out of here. Come on. Be busy and, and know what you're doing. James Page in his first title defense is finding Jose Luis Lopez, a much tougher opponent than Andre Pastrab. Knocked out in round two. Page starts almost every round the same way. Comes straight to the middle of the ring, right hand followed by straight left. Your unofficial scores at the halfway. Mark. I have it 4-1 one, and 1 even. Here's how the fans see it as we hear from Purdy. I have it 57-56. I, I keep it by round, by points, not by rounds. As you saw, Page up 4-2 on the four, other line. 4-2 is what that figure is. So here we go, round seven. In a uh, terrific battle. James Page, the champion in the uh, all-black trunks. The challenger, number one uh, contender, Jose Luis Lopez in the black with the white trim. I wonder what's going through Page's mind. Remember how confidently he told us he'd be surprised if this goes past six. Well, well I bet he's six. surprised. He, he can't wear that. Look out. No, that's that slippery uh, a part of the paint. You know, they paint these canvases, and when they get wet, it gets to be sliding. And you know what? They should stop doing that. Well, they should Somebody stop painting the, the thing, on, because the kind of paint they use is, is a, uh, uh, just makes it slippery. I mean, I've seen that for year after year after year. You saw the stumble by James Page, and it was not from a punch, it was uh, from that sign. It's a combination, too, Steve. When they put water okay, down right Page's here. pants, right he gets up in boxes, okay, stripping you. out, thank making that paint extra slippery. But that paint doesn't need to be there, Bobby. It's, it's a method of income, and that's about all it is. It has nothing to do with boxes. That, and nobody can see it from the, but the television people. All right, here we go. We resume with a minute and a half remaining in round seven. A kidney shot there by James Page. Those things add up. Beautiful combination to the face by Page. That was not blocked by Lopez. I wonder what kind of caution is in Page's mind almost every round. He gets in trouble a little bit one way or another. I mean, every time he feels his punches. I wonder how he's... But you're right. Lopez's punches are having more effect on Page than vice versa. If, if, he, if he was punching as much as Page is punching, this fight would have been over. But this guy waits so long to get started punching. By right, Page setting up now, being conservative. Lopez is his hands down a bit. Usually keeps that guard up. Doesn't have many flaws. A nice right hand, straight right by Page to the head. Page is using some nice feint, nice movement. Getting oh. Lopez to pick his hands up and then fire. Him. That was close. That was close. A little bit closer than that, and down goes Page. He's been down once, 233 into round three, survived the final seconds, but was very wobbly. 
his corner pleading with him, Braxton, pleading with him. When he punches, he can do something, but he won't punch. Therefore, he's losing these rounds, and therefore, there goes any chance to win the title. Lopez, former WBO welterweight champ, 42-3-2 and two with 33 knockouts, his second try at the WBA welterweight title. Yeah, no Good. There you go. Coming up next, our main event, Conadu versus Tapia. As we go behind the scenes into the dressing room with the challenger, Johnny Tapia, who, like the champion, making his Atlantic City debut tonight, fighting mostly out of his hometown, Albuquerque or Las Vegas. He's 44-0-2, unbeaten, 24 knockouts, moving up to 118 for the first time in a title fight. Very engaging. Just enjoys himself. Terrific boxer, brimming with confidence, approaches the game with such emotion. But tonight, his biggest challenge against the African... Nana Kanadu for the WBA Bantamweight Championship as he works there with a guy who is a ferocious fighter, Freddie Roach. I'd like to take a minute here to, to comment as the fight's about to start on the passing of Chris Dundee, four-time champions he had. He was also promoter of great legendary fame and responsible for bringing Bobby Chess to my attention and putting him on NBC, Bobby. He's a good man. We trained down in uh, Miami Beach with him and Bo Jack. A brother of Angelo Dundee, a legendary figure. I know you always speak glowingly of uh, Chris Dundee, and uh, he'll be missed. Yeah. All right, round eight. Nice right hand and left hook to start for Lopez. Lopez needs to get inside that reach, work to the body hard. No, 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 that is not a knockdown. Again, a slip on the uh, logo. Lopez is not staying inside that big range of punching and power of the page has. He stays on the end of the punches. He can't win the fight. He's got to get inside and try working the body, rip the uppercuts up, come upstairs. The chin on Page doesn't seem, seem to be as good as is Lopez. The questions are, is Lopez doing what he needs to do to take the title away from Page? Bobby's keys to victory include it. Get inside Page's reach. Work hard to the body and uppercuts on the inside. We are now going to see what happens in the final championship corridor because Lopez has been there a lot and uh, never has Paige been pressed like he's going to be pressed at the end here. So see, see that right hand the real stuff. Picture perfect right hand by Paige. Okay. Lopez look at him, shook it off as in that. If Paige ever had to hit Paige. himself, it would be, be a terrible night for him. Paige has never been past the 10th okay. round now. The lecturing no, by Tony Perez. Minute and a half remaining in round eight. Page with knockouts in six of his last seven fights. He's trying to unload that devastating left hook. There was a half left hook, half cross by Page. See, Page is staying on the outside now. He's using that jab from the outside. He's He's boxing smart. Yeah, pa Page is looking good boxing from that. He's also doing what corner men love to say. You first, you first, you pop first. While you're popping, the other guy's not, and that's what he's doing. And usually there's no saying he who gets there first gets there best. And Page continues to get off first. Every time. What is Lopez waiting for? Lopez watches the punches go by, but he doesn't come back with anything. Well, you know what, in all due fairness, Lopez is on the receiving end of some heavy, heavy leather, gentlemen. That will make you hesitate all day long. Even though he's only 25, as we've mentioned, he's been in a lot of wars. Could they be taking their toll? Absolutely. Absolutely, when you get in that many wars. But he's 25. And the other thing is, he's from south of the border. Those guys have their own time clock in their body. Those are tough men. Again, uh, Bernie and Bobby Lopez has never been knocked off his feet. It almost happened in the fourth round. A little staring contest there at the end of the round. Now, Jay, let me tell you something. I listen to what I say. Renee is telling what I'm saying. You're losing the fight. You're losing the fight. This guy really is throwing water from here. That's what he's throwing three pretty 76-year-young Lou Duva, very blunt in the face of Jose Luis Lopez. You can win the fight. This guy can't stand up, but you're letting him get away with it. You got a punch. 
tienes eh, Understand? está cansado ya. You got tienes punch. que tirarle golpes fuertes rápido. No te esperes. Déjale el guante, Jorge. No te espero. Hey. Vamos, Luisito. Un esfuerzo grande es el 9. Es el 9, Luisito. Hey. Un esfuerzo grande. Vamos. God damn it. Well, it's now getting away from it's 77 to 74, Mike Card. That's three points. And if he's going to get started, now's the time. This is the round he's got to take one. Lodova has trained 18 world champions with the simple instructions, you've got to punch. Page is doing all the punching. There's a combination to the face of Lopez. Lopez has to wake up. He's got to let it hang out at some point in time. Here between 12, he's got to let it all hang loose and just maybe take a few wild swings. Here he comes, but he doesn't follow it up. That's right. Here he comes, but doesn't follow it up. That, that's the description that fits this fight so far. Here he comes, but he doesn't follow it up. It was just like in the Corte fight, while he did floor Corte twice, he just wasn't abundant enough with the punches. And Corte, the heavily, oh, he slips again for the third time. This one, the worst slip of the night by Page and across that logo. Oh, they're calling that a knockdown. That's absurd. I didn't see a punch, did you? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It would be the second knockdown against Page in the fight and that wasn't a knockdown not at all not no. at all i don't think anybody not was watching the fight to call that knockdown was... that was bizarre Cody perez called that an official knockdown and it didn't page make it out of his game now thinking he lost two pounds hey, now, now bobby now all he's got to do is take the rest of this round and he's got himself a two-point round and he's back in the fight all he's got to do is take the rest of this round that was a knockdown by budweiser by Jose Luis Lopez. The, the two points are not a mandatory deduction, even though a lot of people like to do that, especially if this is an even round all the way through. Four pages ahead. Even if some of the judges missed it, that was a clear slip. It just was a slip. Well, oh, that that was here comes Lopez. Lopez with a flurry. Backing Page up. Page comes back. Page now setting things up with the jab combination. Left hook. The whole repertoire. The crowd urging Lopez on. Lopez has got him a little wobbly again. Page walked into a right hand. Page is now wobbling. Page is not in good shape. 30 seconds left in round nine. Lopez is punching, singing, Page pain. getting the strength on. Oh, Lopez okay, just missed with a left Page. uppercut. Boy, that's what okay, youth will do for you. Where is Page getting the strength? Just when it looks like he's about to get knocked out, he comes out with something. And back comes Page. Shots to the neck. Page is desperate right now. This is strictly a two, a two, <laughs> a two-way battle. One man's chin and one man's power. It's just too much. Whoa. Whoa, what whoa, a strange whoa. round. All right, let's take a real close look at this at this fall. All right, let's take a look. Well, you did we saw it too soon. That was too soon. We just really didn't get a look. They looked like they were squaring off and he slipped down. Let's look again. Now that was a right hand. Oh, uh, this is the end of the round. This is the end round. Of the this round. Is he, he was in trouble. This is where I gave him a 10 8 round because he went down. I'm sorry. That's it. 10 8 with that. Wait a minute, you gave Lopez a 10 8 round. I, I slip. gave him the 10 8 round. We Even got the referee seat. And he got did. the punch off Page. Page got off two punches, and there was a slight jab by Lopez, but that, I'll tell you what, the referee was in the right position. Tony just made a mistake. Doesn't warrant it. Not Mr. Perez just made a goof. At the 52 second mark of round nine, Perez called it enough. Down, it was a clear slip on and a wet ring. The rest of the fight, there was touch and go, so I gave it the 10 8, made it 85 84. But let me tell you, Bobby's right. It's all up in the air. Depends on how the judges I gave, at it. I gave the round to Lopez, but not by two points. And you hear the crowd booing. And they have a right to boo. Round 10. Things getting awfully interesting here. And I wonder what the position the judges would take if they have a see a referee call a knockdown on something that's clearly a slip. Would they accredit a fighter even though they knew it was a mistake? Right, let's check the online. Page up 6 3. A 
Atar got 6-3, but that, the mathematics comes out 85-84. Page has been to the 10th round only three times in 24 fights. Beginning to eat the jabs, which he has never done yet. I mean, because the other guy's never been throwing jabs yet. Now he's throwing jabs. Looking like the right hand is going to come at any moment. Just as sure as the sun comes up, that right hand is going to come flinging after a, a left jab. Page just glanced down looking at that uh, beer logo and trying to uh, sidestep it. So uh, on top of the fact he's got Lopez in his face, he's trying to stay out of the way of the... Uh, He's, he's a little wobbly, Steve. You got him in a good right here. Here comes Lopez. Lopez with a flurry right above us. Lopez all over the place now, all over the body of Page. And Page feeling the effects. Page is still dangerous, and that's what Lopez is worried about. Page looks a little slow. Here's that straight stiff left jab by Lopez. And no question, there's a hunter and there's a honey in here, and a hunter is Lopez. And Page is being stalked. Page answers back with a straight left. But Lopez isn't doing enough right now. Oh, wow. Letting Page off the hook. What a left by Page. Great heart on the part of both fighters with a minute remaining in round 10. Oh, beautiful what a combination by Page. Phenomenal right hand, and Lopez just shook it off and came back. What a chin he's got. He blocked the left, but the right went through withstands the pressure. He has spent this whole round with that right hand cocked and hasn't thrown it. One wonders why. What does he throw that right hand? What's the matter with him? Oh, there's another slip for the fourth time, and it's not a knockdown. Page has been doing a lot of switching back and forth, jumping in from the southpaw stance, cocking that left hand, using it from both sides. Been very effective and awkward. Let me tell you something. If they don't do something about this based on what's happening here, there's something wrong. They've got, I know there are a lot of problems in boxing, but this is one thing they can correct. Get rid of those logos. Yeah, he came, uh, uh, he came over here. Way. Tony came over here to warn Lou Duva about the water. Lou says, what about the other guy? You think it's just one guy with water? Both guys got water pouring out of yeah. okay. I'm not but against the paint. I'm not against free oh. enterprise, but rearrange oh. it in oh. another way somehow. Yeah. Put it right. somewhere else. Because this is very Tony's detrimental over. and dangerous okay, to the Tony's fighters, over. obviously. No, wait, 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 Lou, 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 wait, wait. What happened? No, the it's the end of the round. They... Oh, the bell round. Okay. Well, that's the way you can get disqualified if you're not sure. Look out now. Uh, now somebody's throwing what? A throwing piece things. Or or throwing things. Piece of gum? Just a peanut. Come on, come away the fight. I'm just worried about the bottles. Come away the fight. The bottles will bother me. The gum will bother me. You have this right, Dave, but you won't use that jab. You got to use the jab. And don't go around. Don't stand there waiting on water. Water? Don't stand there waiting on him. Don't wait on him, Dave. Get it out. He's hurt. Um, he's hurt. Don't wait on him. We got, we got to put some more water in there. Okay, come on. Don't get close. Don't wait on him, okay. No fighting during the final 32 seconds of that last round. I th that, that looked like another something was fishy. Tony Perez yeah. forgot to sort of call timeout to the timekeeper. So the timekeeper kept the time running. That's, That's what another error. That's another error for Tony. Mm -hmm. Tony's a very good referee to be doing things like this. He, slew, he, he missed a terrific uh, uh, um, a low blow, which doubled up Lopez. And then he called a knockdown early. And I got nine, but 30 seconds go off the clock. What's happening? All right, the championship rounds is round 11 in a strange, bizarre fight. And boy, does he need this. Does Lopez need this to win this fight? Oh, again. He heard him with a left hook inside. That was not a slip, fellas. That was a, that was a little light in the knees. No, Page was definitely rocked. He did slip afterwards, but I he was rocked. don't know why Lopez didn't jump on that. He had to yep. see it. And that's been the case throughout the evening. He has not followed up. Uh, he, is, he is fighting like he's... Oh, he's fighting like his feet are in guacamole or something. I, I've never seen a guy have, a, have the, the other opponent in trouble so much and not rush in the finish. But Page showing a very solid shit. He slips with the right foot in the very same place. He slipped four previous times, but there was no response from Lopez when he had him right there. I mean, his hands are not fast. He is methodical, and he is trying to load up on everything. 
and maybe that's why he's not fast. He's trying to load up on everything. Page's power has saved him immeasurably tonight, gentlemen. His power has been the key. Lopez would have hurt him so often. Again, well, he's always said his offense is his defense as Page ventures into uncharted territory. Round 11 for the first time in his career. Now he bounces around a little. Still water dripping off Lopez, so I can see why the referee said something to the corner. Now he slipped in, in that same spot. The water off the trunks of both fighters cascading onto the, the advertisements on the right. Tough fight to score, fellas. Because Lopez is getting this guy in trouble, but Page is fighting his way out of every round. Every round. Boy, Page is going to earn this. If he, if he walks away with his title, he will certainly learn a lesson. Don't, don't wait for a guy to get knocked out in six. He may go 12. Bloody lower lip, James Page. That's been there most of the fight. A split lip, a wild swing and a miss with a left, and the elbows went down. And I don't know why Lopez doesn't run after him. Charge. He's got a man off balance. He probably... You, you, you have to, no matter what, you just have to take a shot at that opportunity. Little or no gas left in the tank. For Lopez, I only guess. Okay. All right, let's check the the water difficulty. We've been talking about it all night. There it is. What a mess. See what I'm water from the trunk ripping all over that thing. Oh, what, what, I, what I'd like to know also, uh, Bobby, is what kind of shoes these guys got. Because if they got rubber there, you really got skates on. If they got leather, you can scratch it with your, with your, uh, with your scissors. You can rub it up with your scissors, and you don't get that. But if they don't have leather, and they got rubber on them, boy, it's nothing but roller skates that you got on. I mean, you know, in the old days, you had, the regular, you had these regular shoes. They look like rubber, you see. You had these regular shoes where you could do that. Take it easy, James. Take it easy. Don't spit that deal down, all right? This, this guy's picked up all over us for what? He's going to be charging. Well, last round, now don't give it up. Well, here we go, round 12. The 12th and final round in a wild fight for the WBA Welterweight Championship. James Page in his first title defense on the left of his screen against the veteran Jose Luis Lopez, the number one contender. And if he fights for a long time, he isn't going to have any harder fight than this to keep his title. Oh, there's a left hook, that great left hook by James Page, well chin by Lopez. Page just has so much power that it's taking Lopez out of his game completely. He has to worry about the big bomb. Page wants to end it with a knockout. But he's in trouble. He's the only one that gets in trouble. The, the, uh, he, he, can't, he can't risk. Blow I mean, he's ahead of this fight. All he has to do now is win this round. And here comes Page slipping and punching as he slips his ice all over the place in the ring. That was a terrible right hand, and Lopez just took it. He took it like, like it was nothing. Incredible. Amazing courage by Jose Luis Lopez. Page has to be so frustrated. He says, why doesn't this guy go down? And, his, and, and Lopez's corner is howling, why doesn't he punch? Why in the world does he stay there after two or three punch combinations? Your turn, you punch. Look at this. That's what he should be doing, punching with a puncher. Up. He heard Lopez there with that left hook. Left hook by Page. But Lopez refuses to go. Wow, has this guy got concrete in his head or what? I mean, that's, that's a, some kind of Aztec statue we got there. Reminiscent of vintage. Julio Cesar Chavez. What punches he's taken. Now a body shot left hook by Payne. Lopez doesn't flinch, but Lopez running out of time. A minute ten. He's running out of time, he's running out of gas. Well, he's got a minute to do something or else. His valiant effort will be for naught. Brilliant left hook by James Page, and it did nothing. My trainer, Tommy Parks, has always told me he's a Bobby of after the 12th round. You have one ounce left, and you left it, you left it in the ring. You should have left it in the ring. should not have one ounce left. Let's see if Lopez has anything left in the final 44 seconds. No, 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 no. No knockdown. No, no, no. Again, a slip. That's 
it's the fifth or sixth time that's happened to Payne. That's shameful. I hope that doesn't happen in the Tapia fight. They're going to have to get a Zamboni for yeah, that fight. Well, hey, listen. This is going to be so exciting that next fight's going to have to be Something a wall beater. <laughs> All the punishment that Lopez took is probably taking something out of his energy box. His, his steam has been considerably lessened because of everything he's had to absorb. They should have had this fight at Rockefeller Center. Eight seconds to go. Page hot dog in a little as the bell is about to sound. There it is. I think put it in the books for James Page. I believe so. Yeah, I think Page wins this one. We're not in Las Vegas anymore. We've seen some bizarre scoring out there. We'll see how it goes here. It's in the hands of Deborah Barnes of Homedale, New Jersey, Guillermo Perez of Panama City, Panama, and Cesar Ramos of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Well, I've got it 115 to 111, and that's a pretty big margin for a fight this tough and this hard. But a very entertaining fight without question. A lot of ebb and flow in the early and middle rounds, and then Lopez ran out of gas. I don't think he ran out of gas as much as what Bobby said. He was going to hit some bombs, and those bombs take it out of you. He put a lot of abuse, a lot of wear and tear. He aged a couple years in this fight. Combination. Yeah, his wear and tear is definitely, definitely, definitely heightened by this fight. But young Mr. Page learned a lesson. He earned his money tonight, too. He, he earned a lesson. They aren't any of them easy until it's over. This guy made him earn his living. The question is, uh, how would one of these guys do against De La Hoya or Trinidad? Oscar said he doesn't want to get in there with Lopez, and I can see why after this. What heart, what guts, what a chin. Well, it's a De La Hoya doesn't want to fight him at all. I don't see why not. I don't think this De La Hoya, De La Hoya Page either. Huh? I don't think De La Hoya would be too ready to fight Page either. No, no. But I see no reason why he wouldn't fight Lopez. I mean, Lopez is beatable, as this kid just showed. He's tough. He's durable. Well, Trinidad's in the crowd here tonight, the IBF welterweight champ. Love to see that fight between one of these guys. All right. Let's let's take a look at, at round three. Let's see what that round that, that was the legitimate knockdown. This is a legitimate that's the right hand, a hook, upper gun underneath, another right hand that landed, another hook, another right hand that landed, and finally it starts to wear out. Young Mr. Page. Page about to go down. Beautiful uppercut. Inside uppercut does a lot of a lot of damage. In come the hooks. Another hook, another right hand, another hook, right left. Another right hand while he's down. Guy's down and he got hit, but he was down. Yeah, that was almost similar to what Roy Jones Jr. did. And this overhand right, we talked about it, that left hand page has to tighten up the defense. And that right hand got him in trouble. And here he did, is a lack of experience. Maybe he didn't know how to get out of it. Hold or tie up. He tries to hold here a little bit, but what he does is open himself up to the big right uppercut. Lopez. Lopez keeps using a good feeler with the jab, hook on the inside, and there. Well, you know, he was sitting on a rope and nothing was touching the ground. That's actually a legal shot. <laughs> Well, the knockdown came 233 into round three, and Page survived it. And we are just about set for the decision, so let's go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read the score totals, we've all seen an outstanding 12 rounds of action. No matter who the winner is, they both deserve a round of applause. James Page and Jose Luis Lopez. Well, fans, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Guillermo Perez, scores about 115 to 112. Judge Cesar Ramos scores about 115 to 111. Deborah Barnes scores about 116 to 111. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the WBA welterweight champion of the world the mighty Quinn James Page. So James Page proves he is for real and a genuine force in the welterweight division. Got to admit, even after his one-punch knockout of Pestraev in October, there was still some doubt, but now after disposing of former WBO welterweight champ Jose Luis Lopez, a high-quality contender, that doubt is erased. Page in his first defense retains the title now 23 and 3 on his career. And coming up next for the new convention center in Atlantic City, main event, Conadu Tapia, the WBA Bantamweight.